Welcome to our PCM Virtual Learning. I will show you a quick tour of our new virtual learning game. Hello, welcome to our place. You can see the pictograms here and there to show you the different areas to explore. Alex will be our guide during the entire visit. We'll start with the pause button on the top left where you can see the briefcase logo leading to the portfolio with the memo cards that you will unlock through the game. You can click on full screen to zoom in. Here we have the rebel personality type with his character strength, his perception, management style, preferred method of communication, personality traits, and the base. You can also scroll down to obtain more details about the rebel type. Going back to the portfolio, you can see all the additional documents you previously unlocked. Back in the menu, you have the conversation history, the parameters, and the exit button to leave the virtual learning. Here is the library. You can decide to select the books in English or in French, and you have access to the different books talking about PCM. Now on the top right is your score that will increase according to your progression in the game. We are back with Alex, the main character that will lead you through your journey. We now have four pictograms on the right. The elevator to visit the different floors, the stairs to go to the basement, the meeting room that you will unlock at the end of an arcade game to train you with the channels of communication and perceptions. What floor would you like to visit? We'll start with the Persister floor. However, if you run out of energy while visiting a floor, you can leave and come back later. The green thumb next to each floor means that the floor is unlocked. As soon as you unlock all the floors, you can access the basement. You're back. I'm glad to see you. And we just arrived to the Persister floor. You can see the eye icon where you can click. They allow you to speak with the character and see his thoughts. You can navigate in the office and identify all the different pictograms. In order to finish the floor, you must click and finish the interaction with all of them. Now we will interact with the character. He will explain to you how he perceives the world and his way of thinking through his persister personality type. I see you're interested in my social and environmental responsibility report. That is a very good choice. I am very involved in the implementation of social responsibility actions within our company. My expertise is particularly recognized in the field of the fight against discrimination. I am convinced that we all have a virtuous role to play in this matter in order to combat inequalities and preconceived ideas. What do you think? During each interaction, you will have multiple choice questions with right and wrong answers. Yeah, sure. Anytime. I appreciate the debate. It was a pleasure. On the desk, you can see the puzzle pictogram, different from the eyes I pictogram. I think you're beginning to understand the, puzzle leads the characteristics to a game. of the persister floor. I have a game for you. I let you use my office earlier. There are several items that don't belong to me that were left there. If you get our profile right, I'm sure you'll be able to identify them. It's up to you. Here we have different objects and you must retrieve which one belongs to the persister type. Every time you click on a specific subject, the character gives you an explanation for it, no matter if you have the right or wrong answer. Back in the office, in order to finish the entire floor, you have to open all the pictograms and finish the games. If you want to leave the floor and come back later, you can always click on the door. Are you sure you want to go? Yes, I've spent too much energy. We are now back in the elevator with Alex and all the floors available. Let's go back to the first floor to visit the first degree of distress. I will only show you the first degree of distress and not the second one in order to leave you some more surprises to discover. Let's take the stairs. Here we are on the first floor. This is the first level of miscommunication. This stress is mild. I am convinced that we should maintain the marketing of our traditional product offerings.
Like Here you arrived on the first floor of the basement. Of our the brand, meeting just which started. Which proven their worth over many years. And which our long-standing customers are particularly fond of would be abandoned in favor of others whose success, by the way, seems to me more than hypothetical. After each dialogue, an icon with a mask appears and some details on the stress degree level. And before answering to our character, I'll give you a tip. If you miss some of the conversation, you can always click on the pause button and come back to visualize the previous dialogue. Back to the meeting with the multiple choice questions. Right answer. Bravo. Using the channel and perception corresponding to your caller's face, you have diffused the tension. A pop-up box appears with the explanation again. as well as a persister recap with the first degree of distress. I will try to arrange to pick up the baked goods from the deli before I get there. It's just a little detour. Your conversation partner overadapts himself to please. It's the first degree of stress of the empathetic type. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and pick a more appropriate answer. On the first degree of distress level, you have six interactions with each type of personality. Same thing for the second degree of distress. In order to access the second degree of distress, you must finish all the interactions of the first degree of distress. Here is the end of the virtual learning demo. You now have all the basics to navigate and discover this incredible tool to help you develop your skills and your understanding of the process communication model. PCM, the tool for the daily difference.